Hello, this is Justice Backstrom, and welcome back to JB's Messages. And today, um, let's see, I actually have. Uh, let me just. My mouse isn't cooperating. I actually have a message. Um, so, dear sir, how's the weather up there at your height? Um, so, yeah, I'm only like, uh, 66 and 6 sixteenths of an inch. Um, but I guess that might be higher than you, so, um, it's alright. I mean, yeah. Or maybe he's asking about the altitude that I live at, or the general... I don't know. Um, yeah, the weather's been alright, so I hope all is well. I've just lost five pounds since last weighing myself on the scale. Regardless, here's my question. Um, my time seems to be coming to an end. I look into the moon sometimes and I don't see her face anymore. Okay, this is confusing. What? I am worried that I might be developing troubles with my eyesight. Oh, really? That sucks. I used to look into the moon after my grandmother's death. When I was a little kid, my parents used to t used to told me that my grandmother was watching me from the sky. We would have long conversations in which she told me the Simpsons would um, predict future the future regarding the political economy. This ended up being the case with Trump. I've heard about that. Um, anyways, um, I would like to speak to her more in the moon, but I can't see the face anymore. Um, this, is, this is the weirdest message by far. <laughs> um, now all I see is just two circles and a curve. Uh, maybe this is just another thing like Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny, but I would really be disappointed. I have looked into various technologies with night vision goggles and telescopes, but they have never, s but they just never seem to have the same effect. Do you think I am imagining speaking to my grandmother this whole time? Do you see a face in the moon? Um, I don't really see a face in the moon. Honestly, I've never really thought about it. Um. There's the man on the moon, that face, and I've seen it before. Um, I see a bunny on the moon. Um, anyways, thanks for your response to my question a few months ago. Um, that really helped me out, my dude. Uh, peace and love, Boy Scout Tanner H. Okay, so yeah, this guy um, sent, I think he sent the first message, the one about the great aunt stealing the uh, tooth fairy money. Um... Yeah, no, though, um, I don't know if you were imagining it. I mean, my guess is you probably were imagining it, because I've never really heard of seeing faces in the moon, or talking to your grandmother through the moon, um, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, let's, I'm just gonna say, you probably were imagining it, um, and, uh, well, if that helps you, and, um, yeah, but I mean, I don't know, I mean, as a little kid, it might be okay to try to talk to your grandmother through the moon, but, um, growing up, that'll kind of get towards, like, necromancing and occultic whatnot, but anyways, um, so yeah, just be careful with that. Anyways, though, to you guys, please send any questions you may have to, um, jameshattie at gmail.com um, should be a link in the description if I don't forget and shout out to my newest subscribers Silla Lee and D Bird Flips um, now D Bird Flips kinda sounds like a um, inappropriate hand gesture but I could be wrong I mean I went to their channel and checked it out and they do like parkour and stuff so it may be something to do with that but I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's like I said a bad name um, anyways though subscribe to Blimey me cow on YouTube because that's kind of who I'm copying this sort of s series off of, and I'll put a link to their channel in the description again if I don't forget. But anyways, with that all being said, I'll see you later. Bye.